Hello and welcome back to Explore and Create. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're excited to get creating today because today we are going to explore origami and create lotus flowers. And they're pretty easy to make, just a few folds, and you can use them to store things in so they're kind of like a bowl. Here's what we'll need. Okay, so here is the project we're going to finish with, and I made it in a few sizes. So there we are. This first one I made using a napkin. So that's going to be one of the supplies you might want to have is the napkin. You can also use tissue paper. So I've got a whole roll of tissue, well, a whole package of tissue paper there. We're just going to open that up, unfold it all the way, and get one piece. So if I zoom out and open them both up, all the way you will notice that they are both square shaped which is perfect because that's what we want for this project other items you might want to have to do the project are a ruler a pair of scissors if you're not using square paper or if you want to make your paper smaller and a pen which can help you crease it's easiest i think if you start with the napkin that's a little more forgiving and it gives you a feel for the project so that's what we're going to do we're going to do the first part of the project with a napkin we're gonna make the napkin lotus and then we'll go back and make a lotus with the paper from the tissue paper there's not a lot of contrast between the countertop and the napkin so I have put a box to give you a little more contrast so you can see better You'll notice that there are two folds in your napkin. So there's that one through the center there, that one through this center. That's going to be perfect because we're going to use that to help us line up our folds. So I'm going to grab at both of these folds and just fold this up. So that first corner, this corner, is going to that center where both the lines intersect and I'm going to crease with my fingernails like I said if you wanted to use a pen to help you crease you could do that you could also use your flat edge ruler to help you crease sides across from each other just because it helps to create balance in the project or at least in my mind it does and we're doing that same step again folding this corner to the middle and creasing. All right, we're gonna do the same with the other two points. So we're gonna fold and crease, fold and crease. And I always turn the one that I'm working on toward me. We're going to do the same series of steps with the four corners that remain. Okay, and if you notice the difference between the napkin that was just in the last shot in this shot and the napkin in this shot, I did change it out because that napkin had a little too many folds in it. So again, we're going to take this corner, fold it to the middle, crease, flip it around, take this corner, Fold it to the middle and crease, and then do the same with the last remaining corners. Fold and crease. Fold and crease. Now we're going to turn it over. Guess what we're going to do now? That's right, those same series of folds. So I'm going to grab where this line meets there, this line meets that edge, and fold and then crease turn it to the opposite side 
do the same thing. Rotate it to the next side. Do the same thing. Rotate it to the opposite side. Do the same thing. So now if you wanted to take the pen and just run it over and strengthen those folds, it's a good time to do that now. So we are done with those series of folds. We're going to, though, use the corners again, and we're just going to make a little fold. And this fold, you want to go like a third of the way, no more than half the way up that line. So I did that one. I'm going to turn it around to the other side, do the same thing. Turn it to the next side, same thing. Turn it to the next side, same thing. So now this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay, so here's the next step. While holding this triangle in, you're going to flip it to the other side. You'll see that flap. You're going to pull that flap over and bring it up and create a petal. So we're going to do the same thing with this side. So hold that triangle, bring that petal up, and I like to hold that triangle down and just straighten the petal and make it look a little better. Same thing with the next two sides. So we're holding the triangle, bringing that petal up, holding the triangle, bringing that petal up. And if it unfolds, just fold it back. And repeat. So I suggest starting with the napkin first. It's easier to manipulate and it just gives you a feel for the whole project. So if you turn it over, you'll notice there are four more flaps still. So you're going to hold on to the petals, reach around and bring up that flap. And then just straighten that petal again. Same thing again. So you're holding the flaps down and bringing that flap around, holding the petals down. So one more, hold the petal, bring the flap around. And there we go, we have a completed lotus. So now, what if you were going to do the tissue paper one? Okay, so if you notice, we don't really have the folds that we need on this piece. So we're going to fold it over so that this edge aligns with this edge. And make our crease. Now, since it's already part way there. We're just going to make our second crease right there and open it up. So we have the same series of folds again. We've got the cross now in the center. I'm going to turn it. So I'm going to grab that edge and that edge, flip this point up so it make, makes it to the center. Now say you didn't want to make this large of a lotus, you could cut the paper into a square, a smaller square, and then like use that quarter, or you can just measure it to any size you want and cut it. We're gonna make that same fold on this side, so that point is to the center. 
twist. That point is to the center. Turn it around, twist. That point is to the center. Okay, so the next set of folds is still on this side. This point to the center. And again, I'm working with the exact opposite side, making the same move, making the same fold. That point to the center. Now it doesn't matter which one you start with. That point to the center and the one across. That point to the center. Okay, now we fold it over because we made both of our folds, right? So, yep, yeah, we made both of our folds. Let's turn it over. And again, next step is another series of folds with the points going to the center. Next point to the center. Let's do these folds. So we're going no more than a third of the way up. And again, we're going to hang on to that triangle and pull that flap around. Do the one across, hang on to the triangle, pull the flap around. Hang on to the triangle, pull the flap around. So I did this with newspaper, and the thing that happens with newspaper is when you're doing the this series of folds, folding that around, um, the paper tends to rip here. So if you wanted to do it with newspaper, you could put a removable tape along those edges till you got those turns done, or you got the folds done, and then remove the tape, and I think that that would work. All right. So now, one last fold. Well, one last series of flaps to bring around. My battery's running low, so I'm kind of working a little faster to get this done. And there you go. And there's our second lotus. So like I said, you can use these to put snacks in. So I have some mini Stroop waffles. So you could serve your Stroop waffles or other little snacks in your lotus or a cool thing I found with the bigger ones is you can kind of use it as a candle holder. I have this sized one that I've done that with too. So there are three of our Lotus in three different sizes. This is actually from the same size tissue paper as this one but what I did was instead of doing those first set of folds on the one side 
twice, I did it three times and it made it small. So I hope that you enjoyed our origami project. These are always popular. I hope that you'll give this one a try. I like the 3D nature of it instead of it being just a flat flower. It's like three-dimensional. So thank you for joining us for the first Summer Explore and Create. I hope that you'll join me again, and I hope that until then, you'll continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you!